should have that. Yeah, let's see. Can you guys, let me just get to my full screen. Can you guys see the Picasso? Yep. 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 More? Okay, cool. Cool. Yep. Um, well, thank you for having me. I reached out to um, Jason and asked <laughs> I could come and present to you guys. Um, so I just want to go over a few things about Picasso. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the second home market, just some fresh stats for you guys. Um, I then I want to share how Picasso works. It's a co-ownership model. Um, and then thirdly, I'm going to share how you guys as agents can work with us. Um, my name is Kiki Wanshura. I'm on the industry relations team. Um, and that's what I do is really educate agents um, all about Picasso and this great opportunity for you guys. Um, our mission at Picasso is to enrich lives by making second home ownership possible and enjoyable for more people. And we start every, we have a uh, all company meeting every week and we, we start that meeting with this mission. It's it's very um, ingrained and very near and dear to our hearts. Um, our leadership team is made of some very um, experienced real estate and travel veterans. Um, the co-founder and CEO is Austin Allison. Um, and then the other co-founder who sits on our board is Spencer Raskoff. Um, so it's neither of their first rodeos. They have both had very successful um, startup companies in the real estate industry, as well as the travel industry. Um, we were we launched in October of 2020, so it hasn't even been two years. We were the fastest company to achieve unicorn status, which basically means that your startup is valued at a billion dollars. Um, we finished our Series C funding last end of last year, um, and our company is now worth 1.5 billion. And the reason I tell you all this is to not sound braggadocious, but as you go out and sell Picasso and this co-ownership model to your clients, I want you to guys to know that we're a very well-funded, well-managed company. Um, so if we take a look at you know, what the second home market looked like pre-pandemic, there were technically about 7.5 million homes that fit in the second uh, second home category. A very small percentage of people, about 5%, were working from home, and people were hitting just the top destinations um, when it was came to the second home markets. But if we look now, um, currently there are 10 million homes that fit into the second home market. 62 people, 62 percent, excuse me, of people are working from home. So it's it's a huge, huge jump, a huge number. And people are looking at now just not only the most popular second home destinations, but also some kind of what we call off Broadway homes as well. So they're looking at areas that, you know, don't fit that typical second home destination. So some of the barriers that prevent people from owning a second home today is the cost. Um, it's a pretty big cost for purchasing a whole home. Underutilization. So second homes are um, typically vacant between 10 and 11 months out of the year, which is not great for the neighborhood. It's not great for local businesses or anything like that. Um, and it can be kind of a headache to run. So this is not a new concept. Um, people have been co-owning homes with family members and friends for decades, but it can be kind of a hassle and complicated to, to set up. And not only that, but it can be emotional, right? Like, I love my family, but do I want a second own a second home with them? No, thank you. You know, so we've really um, just made it a lot easier for for people to own a second home these days. If we look at some of the um, you know options that people have for second home, they've got the whole home ownership. It's very costly, um, short-term rental, um, flexible usage. It is a tech-enabled experience and, and inexpensive, but there's a lot of you know, um, areas that are really coming down hard on short-term rentals as well. And you have nothing then once you leave that, that short-term rental. And then you have the timeshares, which are professionally managed, but, um, you know, they're not the best option for a lot of people. Um, we are right in this co-ownership um, model. Actually, RISO um, uh, proved that as a um, an option uh, for MLSs to put in um, single family and then co-ownership as, as a model. So 
we really check all the boxes. It's tech enabled. It's a very seamless um, resale and transfer. It's fully managed. Um, there's equity because you actually own the property and it doesn't have as big of a price tag as if somebody wanted to purchase the whole home. So that said, let me explain how Picasso works. So what we do is we seek out popular second home destinations. When we find a home that checks all the boxes, we purchase that home outright. Then somebody wanting to co-own that property can purchase an eighth of the home up to half of that home. Half is the most that they can own. Once we sell all the shares in that property, we no longer have any ownership in that home, but then we manage it for our owners. Um, so they can finance up to 70% of the home. Um, as I mentioned, um, you know, there is an opportunity for the owners to sell. So, you know, with unlike a timeshare, it's tough to get out of the timeshare. We all hear those radio um, ads, but um, they have the ability to, to sell. And any appreciation that has built up from the time that they've owned it does belong to them as the owners. So our homes are fully managed, um, also fully stocked and then furnished. Uh, we do have an interior design team that comes in and professionally designs it as well. So they're beautiful, beautiful homes. They're stocked with everything our owners will need um, in the kitchen. Um, basically to uh, to serve a Thanksgiving dinner is what we say. Um, so everything that they're going to need. Also in the kitchen, excuse me, in the bathrooms, in the bedrooms, all the linens, all the towels, everything like that. So we want our owners to just come and stay, create memories with their family members, their friends, pack up their clothes and leave. And that's it. Um, we don't want them to have to worry about anything else. There is a monthly management fee that each uh, owner is responsible for depending on how many shares they purchase. That includes taxes, insurance, utilities, prevented, preventative and routine maintenance, um, cleaning, uh, property management fee, that's a Picasso fee, that's $99 a month, um, and then a reserve fund. So everything to really keep that home in the pristine condition that it's currently in. Um, and, and we're very transparent about that. So if you look on our website and you hone in on a particular home, you will see what we purchased that home for, what all of the um, increases are, because we do mark it up 12%. That's how we make money. Um, and then you'll see that, and then you'll see what a one eighth costs. In addition to that, you can actually see what the operating expenses are. We are very transparent with our owners. We want them to know, you know, what they're getting into, what's, what it's going to cost them and everything like that. Um, so you can actually click on the information bubble by the operating expenses. You do have to log in or sign up to see it. It's gated, but then it will have a breakdown. So it'll tell them exactly what, um, what everything costs. At this point, I usually get, how is Picasso not a timeshare? Um, so with timeshare, you are somebody's purchasing time to spend in usually a hotel or a condo. Um, usually with hundreds of other people, you're given kind of some fixed weeks throughout the year. Um, and it's tough to get out of. So with Picasso, um, they're single family homes. It you are given a deed that resides inside of the LLC. Each owner is given that. Um, you have ongoing access to the property and you can sell. So if somebody wants to sell their share, it doesn't affect the other owners inside that property. So how that works is if they want to sell, um, they have we have to make sure that we have all of the initial shares sold and then they can sell at any time. So number one, there's really like three different tiers for selling. So number one, we go to the other owners inside that property to see if they want to purchase additional shares. So we give them first right of offer for five days. Um, if everyone passes on that, they don't want to purchase additional shares, then we offer to buy back that share from the owners. Um, Picasso will buy it back. It's going to be uh, you know, a quick sale. It'll be cash, um, but it might be at a little bit of a discounted price. Third option is for them to come up with their own sale price um, and we will market it for them and we'll sell it for them. So we'll put it in the MLS. We'll put it on all of our marketing channels. Um, again, they can come up with a price. Um, they can do a CMA and things like that. There is a 6% charge for that, just like any other real estate transaction. Um, 
and we'll sell it for them. So those are the ways that they can they can sell. And again, um, any appreciation that has built up, and it typically does, um, we have seen uh, quite a, a good appreciation because we're purchasing in places that are, you know, very popular places and, and appreciation um, is, is pretty high. Um, I also get the question, how are my buyers going to schedule time in the home? So we have an app. It's an easy to use and equitable app that allows them to schedule stays um, in the home two days up to 24 months in advance using this app. So all the owners are provisioned into using this app and they can have access to the calendar. So if somebody purchases a one eight share, they have up to 44 nights a year in that home. They can have six reservations at one time. One of those reservations can be a major holiday, and then they can stay up to 14 nights per reservation. So what this does is this prevents somebody from coming in and taking every single holiday, right? It also allows for those properties, you know, um, maybe in Vail or Aspen with the ski season, it allows everybody access to that prime time um, in that property. Um, and again, the most owners there are in a home is eight. Um, typically somebody buys a quarter. So we're looking at about six um, owners. So that's that's how you're you're dealing with, with the schedule. And I can tell you, we have over 850 owners and it just works. They, they just make it work. We also have home managers who can be the go-between. Let's say somebody already has it scheduled. Somebody else really wants it. It's their, you know, their birthday or something. They will go um, and ask, you know, hey, will you be, would you be willing to switch? Um, and people are generally pretty flexible. Um, you know, if you're working with a buyer who just absolutely has to be in their second home for every single holiday, then this isn't a good option for them. But if they understand, listen, I'm only going to be there, you know, four weeks out of the year. I'm flexible you know, let's, let's do this. Um, then it, then it does work for them. And like I mentioned, we have over 850, um, very happy, um, uh, owners as of right now. So it does work. Um, we are in over 40, uh, destinations right now. So you can see East coast, West coast, some um, Northeast. Um, we also do have some homes in Marbella, Spain, as well as London, England. And we just launched in Cabo. Um, and those shares are, are going fast. Everybody loves Cabo. So but now the last point I want to get to, or the last aspect is how you guys as agents work with us. I think that's a, a pretty important aspect, right? So there are really three ways to work with us. Number one, we'll work with your, your buyers. Um, you bring us your buyers, we'll work with them. Um, number two, uh, you can bring us off-market properties. That's only if we're in your area and we're not in um, the state of Washington yet. Um, and then number three is sell down properties. And there's an opportunity there for a referral. So let's dive into each of these individually. So buyers agents are really the easiest way for you guys to work with us. Um, I have some some um, properties up here and what a one eighth costs and then what the commission is on that one and one eighth just to give you an idea to give you a little flavor of what you'd be looking at. So we pay out a 3% referral commission and that's on any of our homes, right? So you guys are in, you know, the Seattle area. You might have people looking at Hawaii, Scottsdale, Newport Beach, Palm Springs, um, you know, getting away from, from certain kind of weather you guys are uh, notoriously <laughs> known to have. Um, so and that's coming up, right? So that's that's like right on our doorstep. We were just talking about that. Um, so this just gives you an idea. So a 3% referral commission on any of our homes. Um, in addition to that, we also give um, a, the agent uh, 500 restricted stock units to Picasso as well. Um, and that's regardless of if they purchase an eighth or a quarter or a half, you still get the 500 restricted stock units per buyer that you bring in. As the agent bringing in this buyer, you can be as involved in the transaction as you'd like, or you can be completely hands off. We have a buyer agent referral agreement and I'll send all this follow-up information to Jason and he, Jason, if you could send it out to everybody, that would be great. Um, but what um, you can do is just basically you can connect with me or you can connect with sales and I've got their email that will pop up in a little bit. Um, and say, I have a buyer who's interested. We have market principles in all of our markets and they are 100% Picasso agents 
This would be a partnership between Picasso and you. We respect your relationship with your clients. For some of you guys, you have been cultivating these, um, you know, your clientele for, for decades. Um, so we value that. Um, so we just want to work in partnership. So I could introduce you to the market principal. They could also do a virtual tour with you and your buyers. We have a buyer agent referral agreement um, that we can put into place. You do get that 3% when you bring them in. When they want to sell, we then give you a 1%. Um, so it's kind of just like free money because again, we appreciate and value that relationship that you have with them. If they then turn around and purchase a different Picasso home, um, you get that 3% again. So again, um, we, we definitely value that. Um, so again, this is just talking about the 3% referral commission on any closed buyer transaction. And this is right-sized ownership. So on the previous screen, um, at Hawaii, we start at quarter shares, but everywhere else we start at one-eighth shares. But you know, this, these commission prices, these uh, Newport and Scottsdale are based on a, an eighth share. They could be buying a quarter share or a half a share, and you'll basically, you know, bump up that that commission. Um, it's a really easy closing. We have already done the inspection. Um, we have already, if there's any issues with the inspection, we have take, taken care of them. We share those inspection with the buyers. Um, we have actually been able to close with buyers within a week and have them provisioned and in the home that following week. So it can be a really easy uh, transaction for you guys. Um, here's just a little bit more about the 500 restricted stock units. Um, those are awarded for every referred buyer, regardless on, on how many um, shares that they, that they purchase. We have a playbook for agents. And again, I'll include this in my email to you, Jason, as well. Um, this is where, because then I always said to agents are like, okay, what can I do next? Like, what's my call to action? Um, I would download the playbook. And I would just follow it along inside the playbook, our email templates, blog posts, social media content that you can use to send out to your sphere. I was watching one of your company videos and I heard somebody mention we're really big on the sphere, right? Like agents too are like, oh, I need a, uh, you know, I need a lead. Where's my next lead coming from? But really your next paycheck is coming from your sphere of influence. So use our email templates and things like that. Here's a little social assets that we've created for you guys that you can use on your social media pages. Send it out to your sphere. Let them know about Picasso and this co-ownership opportunity. Um, and it's, uh, it, it's, it's you're, you might be surprised, right? You're, a lot of you are focused on the, their primary home, the buying and the selling and helping them with their primary home, which is great. Um, but for some, you know, like for the second home, this is where they're going to go and create memories with their, their family members and their friends. They're going to, you know, shut the laptop off, turn the phone off and really just, you know, in, in get their own lives enriched and how great to be a part of that transaction um, to just bring more value to your clients. Um, so we've got all the pieces for you guys, for you to use. Um, off-market properties, I'm going to skip this a little bit. The only thing I'm going to say about off-market properties, hopefully we will eventually be in Seattle and then you can bring us them. Um, we look for very turnkey homes. If you just go on our website and look at the current homes that we have, you'll be able to see what we look for. But uh, four to seven million is really our sweet spot, turnkey homes, homes that have great amenities, whether it's, you know, ski in, ski out, or, you know, a pool in Miami, that type of thing, hot tub, um, rooftop decks, um, all of that. Very appointed homes, very apropos homes, like they, they look like Miami, or it looks like, um, you know, Charleston, um, but also homes that are very family friendly, because we have a lot of young owners that bring want to bring their kids and enjoy the time with them. So that's kind of what we look for uh, when we talk about a buy box. Sell down is when somebody owns a um, property, a second home, and they're not using it as much as they thought they would be using it. Um, and they come to you and they say, hey, I'd like to, to sell a portion of it, but still retain partial ownership. Again, if that home um, checks all the boxes, we can look at purchasing that home, um, allowing them to retain a quarter to half of that home, selling the other shares, and then managing it for them. So it's a really a win-win for both. But again, just to reiterate, the easiest way to start working with us at the beginning is to bring us your buyers. 
Um, so if you do have a buyer, you want to do a virtual tour with them, you want to walk through a property virtually with our salespeople, it's simply sales at Picasso.com. If you want me to put you in contact with somebody at Picasso, you're welcome to reach out to me, Kiki at Picasso.com. We also have a great um, agent page. Actually, if you're on our main page of Picasso up on the one of the top um, tabs is agents, and that has all of our information, including our marketing toolkit, where it's really easy to find the email scripts and social media content and everything like that. Um, and then lastly, I'll leave this up um, for you guys, um, is our QR code. So if you want to take a shot of that and get signed up for our exclusive announcements. So you guys are um, being kept abreast of, you know, different areas that we're going in and, and things like that. Oh, hello, kitty. <laughs> All right. That's everything that I have. Um, I really appreciate your time today. I probably have just like a one or two minutes for some quick questions if anybody's got some quick questions and if you guys have time for me to do that. Okay. I'm